Okay. Is we recording? Is we recording? Come on up in here for a quick second. Y'all know it's the holiday time. Tune in, tune in. Tune in, you guys. Let's get it cracking. We're doing some Christmas preparations. Excuse the hair. I know I'm looking a little Puerto Rican today. I get my hair, get my hair cut and stuff tomorrow. I'm just coming on here real quick. We're doing two dishes tonight. That's it. Getting prepared. Let me get everything over there. Get everything in order. And let's get the ball rolling. How y'all doing out there? How y'all doing? Feliz Navidad. Y'all busy? Tune in. Y'all ain't that damn busy. Y'all is not that busy tonight. Get up in here and learn something. We finna do a little Christmas prep. I'm starting a little, well, y'all know I already start, starts early. Get it out the way. So that you don't have to overwork yourself on the holiday. Especially if you're doing it by yourself, right? Excuse my hair, I'm looking a little rough. I know I'm looking Puerto Rican. Rican. I get my hair cut tomorrow, so we ain't worried about no hair tonight. We finna worry about this food. Tonight I'm doing my pot roast. And I'm gonna show y'all how to uh, judge up your holiday dressing you probably froze over from Thanksgiving or like me I had a lot left so I froze some and I will be adding it to a dressing that my aunt cooked for me for Thanksgiving but we kept it down there at the restaurant in the deep freezer and so now I went and got it so I'll be judging it up adding a little something, something to it I'm doing all of my stuff early tonight, today rather, tonight, because I'm celebrating Christmas Eve on, well, I'm celebrating Christmas on Christmas Eve, so I only got like really a, a two, two days, correct? So I'm getting a lot of my prepping out the way because I changed what I was going to do Christmas Day, so we only got to show y'all how to prep my pot roast. And judge up some dressing. That's it for tonight. I'll be back to y'all tomorrow. And we'll do another different type of potato salad. And what else I'm doing? Potato salad. Oh, and the turkey. I'm going to show you. The last video, y'all saw me season the turkey, but y'all didn't see me cook it. I'm going to show y'all this time in depth, in depth. But the way I'm going to do my turkey this time is an old southern recipe. And it's called mayo slathered turkey. Don't knock it till you try it. But anywho, let's get down here. I'm going to show y'all how I season and do my uh, pot roast. Hopefully y'all can see that clear. Quite sure y'all can. Don't mind the color of this one. This one was in my freezer for just a little longer. I thawed it out. I got these two fresh because I have uh, a couple more people coming over. So I want to make sure I have enough food. For everybody. Plus my turkey really ain't that big like the last one was. So I just bought some stuff. So anyway, I already rinsed this off and cleaned it. This is what I'm going to use. Here's their Branch Valley Spicy Seasoning I told y'all about. We're going to sprinkle some of that on there. Shouldn't take y'all day to do this. 
just throw the shit on there, okay? Throw it on there. I also got some lemon pepper ranch, real good flavor. Throw it up in there. And I got another pack of that. We're going to put that on there. This won't be salty. These are really not salty, you guys. So they're really good with flavoring, right? Oh, over here. I'm going to go on top of it with a little black pepper. Not a whole lot. A little black pepper. Okay. We're going to put some garlic powder on them. You want, your, you want it to be flavored. I'm putting a lot on the top because I'm going to rub these over and the flavor will get to the bottom of them too. So on the other side. So don't think that this is a lot of seasoning because it's not. Remember you got another side to uh, season up. Usually I would have seared these but I'm not doing it because it really is no reason for me to sear them unless you want to do it. You could also do that as well. These are going to cook perfectly in the oven. On 350, I'm going to put just a tad of season salt. Remember, you can always come back and add more salt to it if you want salt. A little Italian seasoning, just to give it a little pop, you know. Just a little pop. Um, when I, when I season this up and get the flavors incorporated well, I'm not going to put my onions, my green peppers, my, uh, what else? Potatoes and carrots in until like maybe three hours in because I don't want them to be too soft, you know, too soft where it's mushy and I want it to, you know, where well, you can see it in your pot rolls, duh, I mean common sense. So you want to let these cook off in your oven. For about, I got I got my oven preset for 350. So they're going the total time cook depending on how you want your pot roast to be. I want mine where you could just stick a, you could stick a fork through it and it just comes straight off. That's how I like mine. So they go cook for about maybe four and a half hours on 350 in the oven tonight. And through that cooking process, maybe three hours in, is when I'll add my onions, green peppers, the uh, t potatoes, and the carrots. Also for the juice in this, that's why I said be careful with your salt. I will be putting some beef broth in here. So you don't do too much with your over seasoning, right? But we are going to add some garlic up in here, fresh garlic. We're going to put some of that up in there. How y'all feeling? Tonight, I see everybody on there. Jacob, Lavelle, Kelly, Dorothy. What's that, Lanita? How y'all doing? Lloyd, all right. You put as much garlic on your shit as you want to because why is y'all shit? Y'all already know what I'm saying. So now... Let's get this all marinated in real good. Make sure you get all that flavor up in there. But yeah, I know tradition is you usually celebrate Christmas on Christmas Day. I'm sure everybody have done that through that year. Some people do celebrate Christmas on Christmas Eve, which is no difference. Same shit. I'm doing it like this this time because a lot of people are off on Sunday. And it works better for me and them. So, I have to get my preparation out the way a little earlier than most people who do theirs on Christmas Day. Because today all the shit is going to be Friday. Saturday is really crunch time to get everything in. I got a birthday party to go to Saturday. And uh, tomorrow I'll be getting my hair and stuff cut, shit like that. Go get my nails and stuff done. So I ain't gonna really have no time to just be stuck in the kitchen. So I have to get this done the right way. 
And plus, I don't trust nobody cooking my damn meals because I know how to cook them the right way. <laughs> not saying, you know, not throwing shots to nobody. But I know how I like mine. So get them real seasoned. Right? Put them right there in the middle. I did taste the seasoning off my glove a little bit. And you guys, it's perfect. Perfect. Y'all know how I am when it comes to seasoning. I don't, I always hit the nail on the head every fucking time. Now put the beef broth in. Try not to pour it directly on top of your meat because you want your seasoning to kind of stick on it right now. Put the beef broth in. I see y'all down now. Y'all wasn't expecting me tonight. I wasn't expecting to do this either, but when I got the memo that I uh, would be doing a whole lot of shit this weekend, I say, fuck that. I ain't finna be stuck in the kitchen. Let me start now. And I can always take this, shred it up, or have you want to serve it, put it in my refrigerator. It's only gonna be in there for a day. And um, just reheat it uh, Sunday morning. Everything will be done. There's nothing wrong with that. So, now, I'm gonna cover this up and stick it at the bottom of the oven three hours later, which y'all won't see it, but it'll probably be another video instead of me going live, but I want to go live and show y'all this. I'll add in the carrots, the potatoes, and stuff like that, and y'all will get that first thing tomorrow before I go live with the turkey and the potato salad. I told y'all I'm going to do my turkey with mayonnaise this time. I'm going to show y'all something different. And for people saying, oh, mayonnaise, that's nasty. No, it's not nasty. Mayonnaise is nothing but oil and eggs. That's how you get mayonnaise. A lot of people from down south put mayonnaise in their cornbread. You don't taste it, but it, it helps flavor your shit. And you will have a very juicy turkey. I'm trying to give y'all new things to do with the same shit, right? This is one inside the other. Just like that. That's gonna cook for three hours. I ain't finna be on here with y'all. Let me bring it up for three hours. Hey, Jacob. I told y'all don't mind my Okay, okay. We back with the update. I told y'all I was gonna get a video of the pot roast. Three hours in cooking, as you can see. It's just about where I want it to be. It could cook for a little longer. Y'all probably asking, where did I make a gravy? I did not make a gravy. I didn't have any mushrooms or nothing to add to this. So what I did to achieve this look, y'all know how I said when I like it silky. Can you see how silky that is? Look at that. See that? This is all I did was added a can a cream of mushroom to this. This this up in here is already seasoned. I'm gonna show you how I put my vegetables on. I did taste a piece. It could be a, a little more tender. So it's gonna cook for another about another hour and a half or so until everything else gets tender. So I did go and cut up a whole lot of my vegetables. As you can see there, let me drain the water off, and potatoes, and I do have carrots that I'm going to add to that. And y'all really need no more seasoning on there, right? Because uh, everything really has salt on it, especially with the soup, right? So let me show you how I'm going to do this. Take my, I probably should have layered it better, but it wouldn't matter. I'm going to take some onions and put up in there. If you don't like them thick like that, don't make them thick like that. 
And we just gonna lay those all around. All of our vegetables, green peppers, sweet peppers. Just throw them up in there. This will also loosen up your gravy a little bit because y'all know that this is going to create water, moisture in there. Put all your vegetables down. Going in with some potatoes. I cut my potatoes kind of big because I want this to be very hearty. Just throwing in some corners. Wherever you see, when I tell y'all this is going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Okay. Put your potatoes in here. Alright. Whatever potatoes I don't use, I'll use it for uh, my uh, potato salad. I got a few more in there. Just want to do a few. That's all. I definitely want to get all of my vegetables in here. My onions and stuff for the flavor. Yep. And with all I don't use here, I can always add it to the turkey. I have just a few more up in there. And I do have a couple more bags of uh, carrots. So these carrots was already rinsed. We're just gonna set everything on top. Here, rinse these off. You see a little frost on them because they was frozen. Okay. Just like that. This will continue to cook until the potatoes softened up and all of my vegetables Get a little bit translucent. Get those a nice tuck in into that wonderful gravy I created, right? Yep, yep, yep. Just like that, child. And whatever else I don't use, guess what? We'll have some potatoes and carrots or turkey like I said we're going to utilize everything we got so because of the gravy is well seasoned those vegetables is going to break that gravy down a little bit more I do need to uh, make sure we lay them a little bit more of that gravy on top of this because you want to create a nice little crust on your uh, uh, pot roast. And plus you know where your pot roast at because it's in the middle. So it won't be all lost up in the sauce, you know. Get it in there like that. Back in the oven, it will go. Y'all, that is so good. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Lord have mercy. We're just going to lightly coat the vegetables with a little black pepper. Just go around them. Nothing major. Okay. And well, because I have this little beef broth left. I'm just gonna use it on the sides. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. Cause it's all gonna cook down. Add that on the sides. Just a little bit. Now, I'm just gonna go back in the oven for about another hour and a half or so. Can y'all see that goodness that's going on up in that pot? Up in that pan? Look at that. And I'll show y'all the ending product when it is finished. So stay tuned. And here is the fucking reveal. Ooh, Charlie Brown.
about it. Pop Rolls came up out of there. Look at that. Look at this. See how tender. Ooh. Tender. Ooh. Tender. Ooh. My God. God damn. Look at all of that. All of that goodness that's in there, y'all. That's it. That's it for the pie rolls. Look at them nice, big, juicy potatoes. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. My God, today. Ain't that nice? Ain't that nice? Look at that gravy that's on there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just slide that gravy on everything. On everything. Slide that gravy on everything. On everything. Yes, God. Hey, y'all. The shit is ready. <laughs>